Welcome to Fermenting Shit with Sean, and today I have cabbage tits, and we're gonna blah, 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 blah. No, don't be a dumbass. I don't have cabbage tits. I have cabbage balls, though, apparently. All right, well, now that I have your fucking attention, let's make some healthy-ass shit that can also be beneficial to your mental health called sauerkraut. It's easy as fuck. You'll need a big woody, I mean a big wooden masher for smashing shit. I don't know why I do this shit. Anywho, we're using organic cabbage, garlic, dill, and Celtic sea salt in a big ol' fucking crock to ferment this shit in. And uh, you'll need some white stones, and uh, they've got a hole in the middle so you can diddle them if you want. And uh, you know, they're adjustable, so there you go. Well, first things first, I'm gonna cut the little assholes off the garlic. I don't want any assholes in my food or general vicinity, if at all possible. And if you haven't figured it the fuck out, we're making garlic dill sauerkraut. Not only is it healthy as fuck, it's de-fucking-licious. Fermented garlic in particular is crazy good for your ass. Fun fact, good gut health helps your mental fucking health too. Probiotics are the little bugs that live in your guts. They help us digest shit, but they also give off chemical signals to the second brain, which is your gut, duh. You know how motherfuckers are always saying like, oh, this video gives me serotonin or whatever the fuck? Well, about 90% of our serotonin is produced not in the wrinkly pink meat computer in our head, but in the gut. The gut has many of the same neurotransmitters as the brain and also produces dopamine, mood regulating acids, et fucking cetera. So if your gut's fucked up, guess what? what your head's fucked up too look at all that ass you know what else is good for you laughing at fucking gross jokes and dumb shit so there you go anyway if you're eating unhealthy shit then there's nothing for the good bugs to eat in your gut and the asshole bugs take over if you had yourself i don't know a little fucking jmo bender guess what alcohol does it sterilizes shit in other words if you're fucked in the head frequently you can take the reins and curb some of the dumb shit you do and build up your gut bacteria Fermented sauerkraut has trillions of probiotics in just a couple bites. Way fucking more than any supplement and more effective. Should I eat all that ass? Yeah, maybe later. Anyway, we're just gonna slice this garlic up long ways. And don't be scared. Garlic mellows the fuck out when you ferment it. Now, if you go buy an unrefrigerated jar of sauerkraut, that probably ain't the shit. It's probably been pasteurized. If you don't want to make this shit, then look in the refrigerator aisle in the store, and you want the live fermented shit. Anyway, other sources of probiotics are yogurt, kefir, kombucha, miso, apple cider, vinegar, kimchi, fermented pickles, and tempeh. Stuck in a rut? Take care of your fucking gut. Anyway, here's the dill. You're gonna wanna chop up the dill. That's the dill. No big fucking dill, just chop it however you want. I use herb scissors, because I don't wanna fucking dill with it. I know. All right, now chop your cabbage. Every time you see me cut cabbage on here, it's a different fucking way, so figure it the fuck out. You just wanna, you know, get the hard white core out and save the outer leaves as intact as possible. We need that shit later. Then shred it as thin as you can without chopping your fucking digits off. Now I'm doing a big ass batch in a crock designed specifically for fermenting shit, but you can also do this in a mason jar. But the key is an airlock to allow the lactic acid bacteria farts out and not let oxygen in. Basically we are creating an oxygenless environment, which will in essence become an entire fucking universe to a bunch of lactic acid bacteria to have an orgy on an absolutely epic fucking cosmic scale. So make sure you have the right lid. They look like this here. You can get them on line or Amazon, whatever, figure it out. Uh, or get an old school crock, but don't use metal unless you like the taste of shit, because that's what'll happen. This shit's super easy, it just, you know, takes a while. Hi, what was I doing? Oh yeah, orgy. Alright, I'm doing 3.5 teaspoons of salt to 2 pounds of cabbage, and you want the purest non-iodine salt you can fucking find. Celtic sea salt is good like that. Put a handful of that garlic dill up in that bitch, too. All right, this is a batch thing, so throw the first two pound batch in your crock, and then it's time to smash. All right, pull out your stick so you can smash, then, you know, start smashing. Doing this gets the oxygen out and it bruises the cells of the cabbage so they'll release sugar because orgies on a universal scale take a lot of fucking energy and those little bacteria need lots of sugar so they can, you know, smash. Imagine an entire all-encompassing reality of just, you know, eating sugar and farting and a microbial succession orgy. Fuck, sounds better than, you know, taxes and going to work and shit to me, but... But anyway, look at me, I'm a hot dog on a stick girl making lemonade and shit. Is that still a thing? 14-year-old me used to go to the mall just to watch that shit. But anyway, uh, 
if you get tired, you know, you just want to switch to your non-dominant hand and it'll feel like someone else is smashing your cabbage. All right, don't look me in the eye. All right, lid on and uh, I'm not going to make you watch me do this shit over and fucking over again. If you do it right, though, it'll smell like a big fart in your kitchen. I am, however, going to make you watch me smash my own cabbage whilst making eye contact. It's called fucking intimacy, people. Can you handle it? Can you feel that fucking connection we're making right now? Whilst the <coughs> sound of wet cabbage and the smell of farts join like a romantic symphony of sound and stink? Yeah. Alright, I'm good. That got weird. Uh, anyway, one thing you don't want to do is be a dumbass like me and get overzealous with your thrusting and break your fucking crock like I did here. But fuck it, I'm not going to cry about that shit. I'll just clean it and we'll figure something out. Alright, next wash those outer leaves and then uh, you'll need to scrape down all the cabbage bits because anything not under the brine will rot. And uh, we'll put our weights in there and fix my fuck up with saran wrap because the whole point of that little ledge is so you can fill it with water like a fucking moat. Farts go out, no air comes in. That's the deal. Let it sit for a bit. Maybe take a fucking breaky poo. Breathe some fucking air and just exist for a minute. Then let's see. Yep, salt has pulled enough of the water from the cabbage to create a brine, and uh, you want your cabbage completely under brine eventually, or you'll fuck it up. All right, we're gonna take the weights out and cover it with the large cabbage leaves. These are sacrificial leaves, and they'll ensure the weights hold all the little bits under the brine so the orgy can commence and fermentation begins. Okay, clean all the little bits off the weights, pop them back in, and tuck in any stray leaves down in there so it'll be under the brine. That's about it. There's uh, different ways you can do this, different fucking vessels. Just Google it. Part of the fun is figuring the shit the fuck out. Now, this will ferment fine on its own if you didn't fuck up the salt, but I usually have some fermented sauerkraut around anyway, so it doesn't hurt to dump a little juice in. You know, like throwing a bunch of strippers into a potential bacterial orgy can never really hurt. Then just let this shit sit at room temperature for about six weeks, at which time you'll occasionally hear bloop as the orgy farts push through the water barrier in your kitchen. Starts to smell like ass, but in a yummy kind of way. You know, like, you know, yummy ass. I don't know if that's really a thing. Yummy ass, but, but keep your airlock filled with water because it'll fucking evaporate. And then fucking stare at it. No, don't do that. All right, well, we'll do part two in six weeks. Until then, get the fuck out of my kitchen. Toodaloo.